Okay, so for this lesson, we're going to talk about surface area of pyramid, pyramids and cones. So last lesson, we talked about prisms, cylinders. This lesson, we focus exclusively on pyramids and cones. Now, the first two paragraphs here talk about what a pyramid is. We should know by now a pyramid is named by its base. It has lateral faces that are triangles, and those triangles meet at a vertex at the top of that pyramid. So the thing I want to describe here is what we talk about a regular pyramid is a pyramid whose base is a regular polygon and whose lateral faces are congruent isosceles triangles. That's important. The vocabulary term that's new that you're going to have to remember is slant height. That is the length of the altitude of the lateral face of a pyramid. That is the height of these triangular faces. So we need slant height to find surface area and lateral area. So the lateral area of a regular pyramid is half the product of the perimeter of the base and the slant height of the pyramid. And then the surface area is just the lateral area plus the area of the base. So if I have a square pyramid that has base edges of five meters and a slant height of three meters, what's the surface area? So we're gonna draw our pyramid. So basically the way you draw a, draw a pyramid is kind of a flat parallelogram. These two sides are dotted and we're gonna put our vertex stri straight above it, okay? So to connect the vertex to these other vertices, that's my pyramid, okay? So the, it's a square base, okay, with edges that are five meters, and the slant height is three meters. That means the distance from the vertex, that altitude, the distance from the vertex to an edge is three meters. So this is obviously not to scale. This pyramid would be a lot shorter. But the idea behind this is, is that the surface area is the lateral area plus the area of the base. So the lateral area, and I know I give you that formula, it's one half times the perimeter of the base. The perimeter of this base is five times four. Okay, five times four because the perimeter is five plus five plus five plus five times the slant height. That is the lateral area plus the area of the base, which is just five times five. So the surface area one half times five times four is one half times 20. One half times 20 is 10. 10 times three is 30 plus five times five, which is 25. So the total surface area of this square pyramid is 55 square meters, okay? Another way to think of this is you find the area of one of these lateral faces, which is one half times three times five, and you multiply it by four equal or congruent triangles. That's another way to find the lateral area. If you, and if you notice, it's exactly 30. So that's another way to find lateral areas. To think of, this is a square base, so it has four sides. That means there's four congruent triangles. So I find the area of one of the triangles and multiply it by four to find the area of all four. So moving ahead, we are gonna find the lateral area of this pyramid, but we're not given the slant height. BA is the slant height. And we have to find the slant height based on what we're given. We're given the height of the pyramid and the length of an edge, of a, or the, a side of the base. So I'm gonna redraw that highlighted triangle I showed here, like this. So the height of that triangle is 36.4. And I want us to understand since this side is 30, that this side of the right triangle is 15. And this is the slant height, AB, which is what we need to find lateral area. So I've got to do A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So I have to do 15 squared plus 36.4 squared. So these two numbers squared and added together is 
equals the slant height squared. To finish solving that, I take the square root. So I'm going to round this to two decimal places. The square root of this is 39.37 meters. That's my slant height. So the lateral area, I'm going to do this in a different color, the one blue. The lateral area of this pyramid is one half times the perimeter of the base. So the perimeter of the base is four times 30 because there's four equal sides that are all 30 times the slant height, 39.37. So the lateral area is 0.5 times 4 times 30 times 39.37. So my lateral area to the nearest square meter, sorry, should have mentioned that before, is 2,000. 362 square meters because it's 0.2 we round down so that's how we find lateral area we don't know the slant height we've got to use a squared plus b squared equals c squared remembering that this length is half of the edges length is important so we've got two examples of pyramids we're going to cover two examples of cones so lateral area and surface area of cones lateral area of a cone is really similar Remember, it's one half for a pyramid. It's one half perimeter times the slant height. That's perimeter of the base. Perimeter of a circle is 2 pi r. If we look deeper into this, what we're actually doing in this formula is we're multiplying one half by 2. So we can simplify this formula to just be pi r l, meaning pi times the radius times the slant height. And then area of the base we've done before. We've done area of a circle before. It's pi r squared. So the surface area of this cone in terms of pi, the surface area is the lateral area plus area of the base. So surface area is pi times the radius, which is 15, times the slant height, which is 25. That's the lateral area plus the area of the base, which is pi times 15 squared. So in terms of pi means we leave pi alone, we treat it like a variable. So 15 times 25, this becomes 375 pi plus 225 pi. So if we're leaving this answer in terms of pi, we treat pi like a variable. So we combine these like like terms. 375 plus 225 is 600, so 600 pi square centimeters is our surface area, our total surface area, okay? So that's an important piece to this. Um, in example four, similar to example two, finding the lateral area of a cone. So in a chemistry lab experiment, you use a conical filter, a cone-shaped filter shown at the right. How much filter paper do you need to line the, the funnel? We do not need the base area of this cone because we don't need the top of this funnel to be closed off. We need to find the slant height. So we got to draw a right triangle, and I'm going to shade the right triangle we're going to find to find that slant height, this right triangle. So that means that this length is the radius, which is 40, and the height the altitude is 45. So to find that slant height, got to do what I did before. 40 squared plus 45 squared equals slant height squared. So 40 squared plus 45 squared is 3625, 3625. To find that slant height, I take the square root of 3625. So my slant height is 60.21, if I'm rounding, millimeters. Okay, 60.21 millimeters. So my, my lateral area, I'll do this in red. My lateral area is what we looked at at the top. Just pi times the radius, 40, times the slant height, 60.21. Okay, I'll put the 
I won't use dots for multiplying there. So this is an example of one that I need to round because it's a real life example. I need a real measurement here. So 60.21 times pi times 40, the radius, is going to be 7566. And I'll just do it to two decimal places, 0.21 square millimeters. And that's my lateral area. You'll notice I didn't do pi r squared because I don't need the area of the base because this funnel is open at the top, or this filter is open at the top. So you should be ready to do some practice on this. Do 1 to 19 of the practice. That is considered due Thursday. Make sure you look at the review materials for Thursday because we are still taking our next quiz Thursday. Now, I will review with you, but remember, we're not taking the whole class to review. We're going to take the first bit of class to review, then you'll take the quiz on Thursday. So if you have any questions or anything, let me know. I will help you with the practice if you need to.